Welcome to Mondays with Mark. If you're watching on Facebook, please share our program so all your friends can watch along with you. And if you're watching on YouTube, be sure and subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss a Mondays with Mark. And over at MarkLowry.com this week until June 22nd, exactly. You can get free shipping on all orders of $40 or more with promo code SHIP40. So get on over to MarkLowry.com and spend at least $40 and get that free shipping. You know how you love a deal. Hey, everybody. <laughs> this is Mark and Colleen. Hey, Colleen, how have you been? I've been doing great. Been well, doing wonderful. How's retirement going for you? It's so far so good. It's I've been on the road, seems like. For three weeks now, since re since I've retired, so yeah. I need you to kind of sl down. I haven't slowed down any. No. And we've got a special guest sitting behind us. We do. Dan Dean and Becky Dean, y'all. We're going to talk to them a little bit. But first, some of you've been asking how that trip was to the uh, lake the other day. We went to Lake Livingston. Part well. Well, it was a little. We piece didn't really of know it. where we were. It was supposed to be Lake Livingston, but it was the Trinity River. Somebody said so. We ended up in the river. <laughs> Seriously, we were in, we were going in circles because, well, first of all, they kind of scared us at the boat, yeah, mo the marina about they, going they, here and going there. Yeah, and they'd mark off all these sections. You can't. There's rocks over here. There's rocks and there's boulders over here, and so you're <laughs> like out there scared to move. He, you were. Yeah. I mean, we wouldn't go anywhere. It's maybe. not like Center Hill Lake, no, where it's seventy feet deep everywhere you go. Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry about hitting anything but children. <laughs> But there, I mean, there's really nice places on Lake Livingston. We've heard. Yeah. So we need to find those. those try to find them. Marinas to go. Well, we were we did rehearse a little bit tonight. Dan Dean, how are you? Good. How are you doing, Mark? I'm doing Hi, good. Hi, Colleen. Let me hey, make sure Mark. we can hear you hey, good. Uh, Dan. Hello. Yeah. Testing. Can you hear me in the back? <laughs> and thank you all for coming, tuning in. Uh, Jane Ritchie, Josiah Gentry, Terry Netterman, look at all y'all coming in. Thank you. Coming in on Monday night, Naomi Jones, Catherine Pierce, Denise A. Murray, Glenn Todd. I mean, it just goes on and on. Jaron Davis. Hey, Jaron. Hey, There's Jaren. old Jaron. Oh, hey, Jaron, I just saw Gay. Your sister, Colleen, was on there somewhere hey, back Neil, up probably there. probably mother. Oh, yeah. your mother. Back it up. Gay Lynn. Or, here hey, it is. Oh, uh, where? Your mother's on here? Did you there, see? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Keep going. Wait. Yeah. Here oh, she there is. is. I'm yeah. watching. Hi, yeah. Becky. Hi, Dan. Hi, Hello. Gay Williams, D. Hart. So anyway, let's sing a little bit. Victory All right. Jesus. Here sure. we go. <laughs> well, I heard an old, old story. How a Savior came from glory. How he gave his life on Calvary. To save a wretch like me I heard about his groaning Of his precious blood's atoning Then I repented of my sin And won the victory Oh, victory, victory in Jesus, Jesus My Savior forever He sought me and he bought me with his redeeming blood He loved me and I knew him And all my love is to him He plunged me to victory Beneath the cleansing flood I heard about a mansion He has built for me in glory and I heard about the streets of gold Beyond the crystal sea About the angels singing That old redemption story And some sweet day I'll sing up there The song of victory Oh, victory in Jesus My Savior forever sought me and he bought me with his redeeming blood he loved me ere i knew him and all my love is through him he plunged me 
to victory beneath the cleansing blood. My pastor, Brother Clayton, his favorite verse, and I hope Brother Clayton's watching. Let's see. I heard about his healing, of his cleansing power revealing how he made the lame to walk again and he caused the blind to see and then i cried please jesus come and heal my broken spirit and somehow jesus came and brought to me the victory everybody oh victory in jesus my savior forever he sought me and he loved me with his redeeming blood he loved me heard of Phillips Craig and Dean he is with us tonight and Becky I thought I'd ask you first of all get grab your microphone okay. and that's gizmo show yes. everybody gizmo this is gizmo Dean oh <laughs> gizmo Dean dog. and if you sing he'll sing along right yes he will sing. Sing. We turn you up a little bit <laughs> Jesus, 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 there's just something about... Y'all, that's amazing. That dog is trying to find the pitch. <laughs> Have you ever seen anything like... So tell me, Becky, y'all met... Uh, you did not meet in Bible college. No, we met the summer before I went to Jackson. College of Ministries, mm -hmm. that mighty, fabulous college. Yeah. That had fabulous dorms. Oh, girl. <laughs> oh. Were you in there too? Because y'all, what you may not, did I already say this? No. Nope. Colleen and Becky are cousins. Yes. Yep. First cousins. cousins. First cousins. cousins. And, and the camera operator over here, camera two, yeah, <laughs> Dina, is my cousin Dina. I did not know that. Not really cousin, but. Kind of. We, we were close enough that we could have been cousins. I've known her all my life. And I've known Dina all my life, too. My mm -hmm. mom and dad and Dina's mom and dad were best friends down when they pastored in Brownsville. Brownsville. Brownsville and my parents were in Laferia, Texas. Laferia? Uh-huh. And I was born in Harlingen. And so y'all met at... Where? Birth, basically. At birth. At birth. Just, you know, <laughs> so y'all were best friends before you... Are you talking about us? Where you, did we meet? Did we we met? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I thought you were talking... talking I was talking about Dina. Dina. Oh, okay. We Dina. Dina. No, no, Dan... I, no. I was on another connection. I'm met, sorry. So I met Dan yeah. the summer of 1975. Yes. I was at the ripe old age of 17. Yeah. And I was dating a guy off and on, not regularly, but off and on, named Dan Davis. Uh -huh. And so Dan Dean came through my church with a quartet, and I'll let him tell the rest of it. Yeah, I, I uh, ran into this girl walking out the side door of the church, and I said, hi. <laughs> and she said, I said, I'm Dan. She said, I'm Becky Dehart. I said, I have heard a lot about you. <laughs> <laughs> because actually the guy that was going to be my roommate uh, at college was kind of dating her on and off and the truth of the matter is she had the right she had the the right first name just the wrong last name right. and god finally had to straighten her out on that yeah. <laughs> have any of you uh, someone wants to know have any of you been to Delion lately uh, not lately but how long ago right. dina probably well we went what about a year ago yeah, yeah. went to, uh, what's the place down there that has the greatest corn dogs the in the corn world? Dogs. Raleigh's. 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 Yeah, Raleigh's. down there at Deleon. Well, let's get you singing. Oh, God, that was such yes. a great corn dog. That was <laughs> a good corn dog. Be good right now. It <laughs> would be. And if you have any Phillips, Craig and Dean or Dan Dean songs you'd like to hear, we will try to keep our eye, one eye on I, the comments. I thought, Mark, what I would kind of do yeah. is... Uh, 
go back to, to, to my very first solo project where nobody's heard those songs because it, it only went aluminum <laughs> <laughs> in sales. Mostly my relatives yeah. thought that, but uh, there was some good songs on there. Yeah. And uh, this is one of them here that I really liked. And, and uh, this is your favorite. Thank you, Lord, for the song. Say it, Dan. Thank you, Lord, for the sunshine in the middle of the night. Thank you for the sweet assurance that everything is going to be all right. Thank you for the shelter I find in the middle of the storm. I know I'm safe because I'm sheltered in his arms. The storms of life are many I seem to face them every day And sometimes in my darkest night It's hard to find my way But I have a friend who's with me Through each and every trial And I know he'll see me through another mile Yeah, same. Thank you, Lord, for the sunshine in the middle of the night. Thank you for the sweet assurance that everything is going to be all right. Thank you for the shelter I find in the middle of the storm. I know I'm safe because I'm sheltered in his arms. Good one, I like that. And who recorded that first? Me. You did. I think I'm the only one that ever recorded. Well, that's a good one. Oh yeah, that's right. Marita Wolf recorded that before I did. Yeah. Royalties from that album. Yes. First band, remember? That's exactly right. <laughs> what did she say? I, royalties from that song bought our first bed and mattress. So, <laughs> thank you, Lord, for the sunshine in the middle of the night was a happily uh, yeah a great title for that song. And which which one did you do the the cathedrals? Uh, that was that was one of my you know my roots are southern gospel, Mark. Yeah. I, I used to go to the Goodman concerts and just. In fact, my very first concert ever, I'll never forget it. It was uh, in Colleen, Texas, where I was living. I went down to a church in Colleen and heard the Kingsman Quartet. Oh, wow. And uh, I heard them sing that night, and I watched them walk off stage and get on that bus, and I thought to myself, that is what I want to do with my life right really? there. Mm. And I can't tell you anything about that concert except they got on the bus. And that was like, <laughs> that was like, if I could ever get on a bus like that. But So uh, this is my Southern Gospel Roots. Uh, this is a song that I did also on my first album, solo album. And uh, the Cathedrals ended up recording this, was a, which was a great blessing because this was before Glenn passed away and no bass in the world could do it like him. A loser without direction I've drifted aimlessly On the backside of a place called nowhere Forgotten by humanity When they talked about potential They did not refer to me Cause everyone could clearly see What I was I'd always be But he saw not what I was He saw what I could be When he reached his hand to where I was He took a chance on Ability. Still he saw not what I was, he saw what I could be. Yeah. There's a little of that one. Oh, that's uh, love that one. 
That's a good one. And he, you write all your music. Yeah. Right? Well, he and the group. You, yeah. That, at that time, I was. I hadn't even tried writing with other folks. It's oh, really? Just, that was. I didn't know about that joy. Yeah. <laughs> and sometimes pain. Yeah. But uh, how did you get that to the cathedrals? Uh, it's kind of a crazy story. I had some success locally with that project and I got a call from a guy in Nashville who said I didn't know a lot about music he said if I can get this on a on a cathedrals album will you sign the publishing with our publishing company and I said sure I know what that meant I just (laughs) yeah I was fishing for anything to get a little exposure out there for my songwriting and and he got it he came through well, then he deserves the publishing. That's exactly That's the way right. it works. That's the way it works. That's the way it works. Well, what are you going to do next? Well, you requested one. Oh. So, um, Is it the one I'm thinking of? I think so. He won't give up easy. Oh, y'all, listen. Put your hearing ears on and really listen to this one. This is a gorgeous song, and it's the truth about God. He won't give up easy on you. I love that. Yeah, um, Mark, I, I, uh, you're going to have to pray because it's been a long time since I pulled this one out. And I tried to rehearse it a few times today, but we'll see. Uh-oh. Many times you heard the story. Sitting on your mother's knee You heard about how much he loved you And about a place called Calvary But now the story's just a memory Of a time so long ago But his love still seems to call you Though you're miles away from home And in the darkness of the midnight When nothing seems to When there's no one else to cling to You'll hear him softly call your name Cause he won't give up easy You're forever on his mind He won't give up easy You gave yourself to sin completely You gave it all you had to give And now you lie awake and wonder If your sins he will forgive If you could know how long he's watched you Just hoping you would change your mind While you've been chasing after rainbows He's waited patiently in line And if tonight while he is calling you turn your back and walk away and just remember while you're running he's watching every step you take and he won't give up easy You're forever on his mind He won't give up easy He's just not the 
good and kind. I don't know what to say. That song slays me. It literally just slays me. I'm telling you, God's not going to quit on you. And it, I no. s see a lot of y'all, some of you are saying I'm in tears. And I, I was too the first time I heard that song. That is an amazing song. But more importantly, God is crazy about you. Whoever tuned in, 1,588 of you are I watching see, right uh, now. I see Carolyn Gilly watching from Florida. And Bubba McNeely is watching. And listen, who else? Carolyn, Carolyn Gilly and her husband David, this is a kind of a great story, Yeah, lived across the street from us when we first moved to Dallas. And when I did that album, they lived across the street. Some of my first quote-unquote fans, friends before fans. Right. But Good to see you, Carolyn. That's me. Love we you. love you, Caroline. Jaron, there's Jaron. And, and, and this is where amazing happens. Yeah, that's oh, that's yeah. a song I wrote. Taranda Green recorded. Oh it. my Jaren goodness, produced. you wrote that yeah. too. Yeah. Can you not hear can you oh, can you, I, I forgot it. Oh, I, I didn't can. practice. That. And then someone once when God ran, I saw that go flying by. I could probably do a little when God ran. Do a little of God ran. Somebody okay. asked for that. Almighty God, the great I am, immovable rock, omnipotent, powerful, awesome Lord. Victorious warrior, commanding king of kings, mighty conqueror, and the only time, the only time I ever saw him run was when he ran to me. He took me in his arms, held my head to his chest, and said, My son's gonna home again, lifted my face, wiped the tears from my eyes, with forgiveness in his voice, he said, son, do you know I still love you, he ran to me, I was so ashamed, I was all alone, and so far away Oh, but now I know That he's been waiting for this day I saw him run to me He took me in his arms Held my head to his chest And said, my son's come home again Lifted my face Wiped the tears from my eyes With forgiveness in his voice he said, son, did you hear what he called me? He called me son. He said, son, do you know I still love you? When God ran. Wow. Is something. Dan, you're one of my favorite singers, one of my Thank favorite you, writers, and Thank one you, of my favorite people. Now, how did we meet? Do you even remember? I don't. I feel like I've known you forever. Me too. And I don't. I don't, I don't even remember our first. Just like you're always supposed was, uh, to be there. It was. Um, is it Dina? It's probably Dina. Maybe. I Maybe. don't know. I don't. I can't remember. Wait. I remember a Dove Awards. Yeah, back a long, know. long time ago, and we'd sort of lost contact. We were all there together, and we met up, and I think we sort of hooked back up. You've got to use the you mic. Need to use mic. Oh, I'm sorry. So it, I want to say that was oh my lord, 
that was like Long 95, 95, 96. And we sort of hooked, Dana and, and I and, and Dan sort of hooked back up. Dana had lived in Hawaii for a while and One thing sort of I love lost about touch. you, Mark, is uh, you're honest with me. I usually run most every song I write by you. Wow. And I send you a copy and you tell me, I don't get that one. Sometimes you do that. <laughs> I get so, most of them. Sometimes there's no response, which means, does that mean you don't like the song? Well, that could be a nice way of not, not having to say what I'm thinking. No, but seriously, I love that you do that. I love, uh, you know, because I'm a fresh ear, and Absolutely. it needs to make sense. You, don't, you know, if you have to explain your song, you shouldn't have written your song. Absolutely, and here's one thing I've learned through the years is that no, nobody ever has an ugly baby. Mm -mm. Their baby's always beautiful. To them. To them. Yeah. But I have <laughs> discovered it over the years. I write some songs, and I give birth to some songs that are not as pretty as I think they are. And uh, my Some wife are born is, with ten toes great, on each foot, and you yeah. got to cut some off. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, I'm not going to go there. Well, you know, seriously, you this can write is, uh, too much, and then you got to edit, edit, edit. This is true, and songwriting is a, um, I just don't know too many people that, and it's happened to me a few times, you, that you sit down and write a song and you just come out with a finished product and that's it. Usually it's a lot of pruning and a lot of cultivating and going yeah. back to the table and going, I've, I'm repetitive with that line and I've said the same thing. Oh, you know, I repeated that word twice. Yeah. I didn't notice that till now. Right. So... You go through that cultivating, and hopefully you come out with something that will touch the hearts of people. And people, if you'd like to have Dan in your church, you're doing some solo things Yes, now. I am. He's uh, decided to do some, some solo dates. me some and gumbo, and I'll show yeah. up. <laughs> <laughs> How would they find you? Well, How would they contact that's you? That's a good question. Um, Instagram. Oh, he's on Instagram. Dan. Dan. PCD. PCD. Let me put no, that up no, there for you. No, uh, no, uh. It's just Dan PCD, yeah. all those letters right See. together. It, isn't it a, where's that little Dan at PCD. Sign? Mark is as challenged technically as I am, it looks Dan like. Dan PCD, meaning Phillips, yeah. Greg, and Dean. Yeah. But it's, uh, there's the little at sign, and I don't see it. Good night. Oh, there it is. He's the coming right at's there. in front of it, right? Right, right there. That's on Instagram. Yeah. Uh, if they want to email me. Dan.Dean at theheartlandchurch.com. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, let's give By them the that way, too. some exciting news about church is um, this. Uh, Dan.Dean at what? At The Heartland Church, the all one word. H E A R T L A N D yep. church.com. Yeah, you can tell we planned all this out, people. It's like. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All anyway, right. uh, it's kind of a new season in my life. I was uh, at the church. I'm still there, but in a different role for 30, 36 years in since June. Eight, since 85. Since 85. So, yeah, that would be 36 years this June the 1st. I celebrated my 36th year at the church. Wow. And I stepped down as the lead pastor. They're calling me the legacy pastor now, which I don't know exactly <laughs> what that means. It sounds very old. <laughs> That's your first stop on the way to the nursing home. That's exactly right. Just <laughs> and my, but but, my but you're retired son, now, Dusty, so you can you can Dusty. go to people's churches. I can. And Dusty, what about? Thanks Dusty? for giving me a look. Dusty is my oldest son. He's the the lead pastor now, doing an incredible job. And then my middle son, my middle child, Devin, he is uh, our worship uh, director there at the church, and the church is doing great. And that's in Fantastic. Dallas. Actually, Carrollton, Texas. Carrollton. Okay. If you're ever around Carrollton, come by and see our wonderful family there, the Heartland Church, loving people to life. It's actually Hannah. Heartland Church. Yeah, I know. Heartland <laughs> Church. <laughs> I was only the pastor for a long time. Heartland Church. And yeah, the email is the How Heartland. are you liking retirement? Church. Who, me? Any of you. Becky? Both, oh. Aren't you retired? 
Do well, not. no, I'm still a nurse. We're, oh, we're, uh, da- Daddy says I still have to work for a while. <laughs> so you can get that swimming Although she's pool. Yeah, not working so I can right get that now. swimming pool. Huh? She's not working right I'm now. I'm not working right, right now. We're down I'm, here at Mark's right I now. Know. And I know. All right, let's sing something else. Yeah. Okay. Um, I love man, to hear you sing. Uh, I'll, I'll sing one. This was a song that um, I have a some people I've written a lot with over the years, and one of those is Dave Clark, Don Cook. Mm. And we wrote a, a lot of songs on PCD albums, Crucified, well, no, that was Randy, sorry. Uh, Mercy Came Running, and I don't know, a whole ton of them on there, but this song, I sat down with Dave one day in the chapel at our church there, and in, in, uh, it was in Irving at the time. I said, I, I want to tell you a story uh, that's kind of, depicts the song I want to write. And it was my dad was a World War II veteran, uh, shot three times during the war, a hero, a true American hero. And he told me a story one day, he was reminiscing, this is after the 50th anniversary where he went back to Normandy. And my dad fought in the Battle of the, of the Bulge and he flew over and parat- uh, with his paratrooper buddies, they dropped in behind the lines at at Normandy, D-Day. He was wounded shortly after that. But he told me because they were paratroopers, they would get uh, pinned in by the enemy. And during the day, their line would get pushed back. And he said there were soldiers, his buddies, that would fall in the heat of the battle. And they would be in this area they called no man's land. It's in between the enemy and and where they're positioned, and night would fall. And these fallen comrades would begin to call their names out. Mm. And he told me, they'd say, Bill, Bill, help me, I'm dying. Bill, help me, I'm dying. Mm. And he said it was the most frustrating feeling in all the world to hear those voices get fainter and fainter and Mm. then finally stop. And he said, you just you'd try to cover your ears because you couldn't get to them because it was it was too dangerous you'd lose your own life and and I told Dave that day I was we were talking about this and I said you know I I see this happening in the church sometimes people are silently crying calling for help and uh, they can't get anybody's attention to really help them and we sat down in the chapel that day and this is this is what we came up with uh you know, you have a lot of favorites if you're a writer, but this is truly one of my favorites. Well, it's been one of those days The mountains I'm facing seem to high to climb And I try to have faith But sometimes the waiting Drives me out of my mind So brother to brother I come to you With this one request Is there room for another Weary soul Needs a place to rest and pray me home, pray me home. Oh, my heart is so heavy and I just can't go on. Pray me home, pray me home. I need you to help me. Don't think I can make it alone Pray me home If you see something in me To cause you to question If my faith is secure I'm asking you, please, to show me compassion, even though you're unsure. Cause the greater the war that I'm going through, the greater my need. 
And I want nothing more than to know your will and to join me on my knees. So pray me home, pray me home. My heart is so heavy and I just can't go home. Pray me home, pray me home. I need you to help me, don't think I can make it alone, pray me home, pray me Don't think I can make it alone. Pray me on. Pray me on. saying that I look sad. These songs are so emotional. I well, that's just the way here. she looks. I don't know. It's all, I'm just about to start bawling these songs. Well, just, don't look so sad. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the comments to the are incredible. So my, my piano skills have eroded over the years because I travel with one of the greatest keyboard people in Sean Craig. Yeah. And I see people requesting some songs on there that I wouldn't dare. See, I want to be just like you. Is that the tough oh, one? That's great. Lord, I want to be just like you. Because he wants to be just like me. I want to be a holy example for his innocent eyes to see. Help me be a living Bible, Lord, that my little boy can. I want to be just like you, cause he wants to be like me. There's a course. Yeah. That was for you, Brenda Ledeau. We're trying to see all these, I mean, you've had so many great songs. God. It's hard to figure out which ones to do. All right, what else well, you got? You know, I'm a, I'm a testimony of God's faithfulness, Mark. Yep. I really am. Uh, I could tell a little of the story, but... Tell it. Life is a lot about waiting on God, you know. And when I when I um, started out in music, uh, I was doing what anybody else would do. I was working hard, trying to write songs, singing anywhere they'd let me sing, going to <laughs> retirement centers, <laughs> churches, Church setting up my PA. <laughs> I'm like yeah. the point of Grace girls used to tell me they'd finished their last song. Uh, and they'd start wrapping up the chords. <laughs> you even paid packing up. Sometimes. I did. There were a few times I paid to go sing. I didn't know it when I was doing it, but I did. Oh, that's funny. And, um, but at, at uh, I think I was 30, I don't know, maybe 33 years old, and I got my big break. Uh, I was invited to sing. This is after my solo album came out. I was invited to sing in Nashville for the New Artist Showcase at GMA Week. Oh, wow. As a soloist. As a soloist, and I had a couple guys that I traveled with, Calvin, Gene, Nate Saban, and we... we Remember the Daniel day, had was, just been born. the day after my daughter was born. Oh, I wow. packed everything up. Which was up. April 9th, 1989, and so the yeah. next day... The next day I packed all the gear, took off for Nashville, and I sang at the New Artist Showcase. It was three songs, and everybody was telling me, man, you got a record deal. It's... Everybody that sings here gets a record deal. <laughs> so I went home, and I waited for the phone to ring, and I waited some more, and I waited some more, <laughs> and it didn't ring. So I told my wife, I remember this clearly. You'll remember. I said, okay, it's, it's not going to happen. I'm just going to keep singing here at the church. I'll write songs, but that dream is it's not going to happen, so I'm just going to 
just going to do what I do and not try to pursue it anymore. And so help me. It probably wasn't maybe a week later, two weeks later, that I get a call from a little curly-headed boy down in Austin. And he said, Diane, let's make a male trio album. Di- Diane, is Diane, he Diane. Diane. <laughs> I can't talk like Randy. Randy Phillips. I love Randy. Yeah, and he's my uh, best friend now. Is that right? Remember when I kept trying to get him to be my best friend on that Michael W. Smith cruise? He said, "Baby steps, Mark. Baby steps." <laughs> and so I text him when I get home. Are we best friends yet? He go, "Baby steps, baby steps." <laughs> Oh, I just saw Scott and Melanie up there. Hi, Scott and Melanie. I love oh. you guys. Uh, so anyway. So anyway, the rest is history. We did a... a so he called you to do he a trio. Called me, he called me and he said, let's let's put together a trio. The backstory was that Randy had had a solo album too, and he took it shopping to Nashville, and they said, uh, we, we don't need a male soloist, but we, we might be interested if there was a male trio. Hmm. So Randy contacted me, and we stewed around on who we wanted to to get. And uh, Randy knew Sean. I didn't really know Sean that well at the time, but Ra- Sean was having great success with writing. You know, he wrote in Christ Alone and some songs you probably sang with the vocal band. Probably. Uh, trying to think of Beyond the Open Door. Oh, Did wow. You sing that? He wrote that. And That's so, a great one. Uh, we, we met in Dallas in October of 91, and we recorded, we learned three songs, one of each of our songs. Mine was the favorite song of all. They learned that one. And Randy's was a song called Once More With Feeling. And Sean brought a song to the table called Midnight Oil. And we went the next morning to a, a studio and did three demos of those songs. Sent them off to Nashville. And we got a call. And they said, come up here and do. And what was um, the song you did? Favorite song of all. Oh, we need a little bit what of that. His favorite. But his favorite song of all is the song of the redeemed. When lost sinners now may clean, yes, they lift their voices loud and strong. When those purchased by his blood lift him a song of love, there's nothing more he'd rather hear. So please into his ear as his favorite song of all. <laughs> anyway, that's a good one. They they called and said we want you to come to a showcase concert, and we said we know three songs. <laughs> <laughs> well, learn a few more. So we came back to Dallas and we learned ten songs. We did a couple of concerts just to practice at our church. Uh, that one at our on. church and yeah. one down in Deritter, Louisiana. Somebody we knew let us come there. <laughs> Felt sorry for us. Yeah. Uh, then we went to Nashville, and it was, a, it just felt like we were had. Well, there's probably twenty people there, but it was who was there. It was there was about three record companies that came, and they didn't act as all. You've signed for a record company people. They don't tell act what like y'all wore. Interesting. Yeah, we wore all three of y'all cardigan <laughs> sweaters. The sweater December, boys. The sweater oh, boys, funny. and. It was quite interesting. We f- thought we failed miserably. You did. We really did. We went went out to eat afterwards, and we, we were saying stuff like, guys, we gave it our best shot. That was good. We got home. We waited a couple weeks. I Finally, I called Randy, and I said, have you heard anything? He said, not a word. I said, well, why don't you just call him up and say, thank you so much for allowing us the opportunity. Uh, we just really appreciate it. So he called him. And he said something like, he told me later, he said, you know, we know we didn't quite measure up, but we just want to say thanks for providing us the opportunity. And it was Stan Moser at at Star Song Records. He said, what are you talking about? (laughs) Let's do an album. We're ready to sign you. And so within a few months, we were up there signing a a record deal, and we recorded our first album, I think, in June of that year in a garage. Our vocal booth was a restroom inside the garage. <laughs> Had a washer and dryer, and back in those days, it was singing around one mic. There was no such thing as auto tune, uh-uh. uh, and you sang it till you got it right. Right. You had to get the blend right, and exactly. Sean's take a step back, and Randy step up one step, and it was. <sighs> 
Yeah. You had to sing crazy. around one mic? One mic. Wow. First few albums were that way. So that meant everybody had to be on, on pitch, or you did it over. Oh, my. It took a long time. No. Worn out. I couldn't do that. Oh, there's Sandy Davis. Hi, Sandy. Another college buddy. Well, there my, we go. Yeah. So let's hear something else. We got. I love that that we're live right now. Sixteen hundred and thirty of you are watching. If you're watching what? on Facebook, please share it. This is one of the best Mondays with Mark. I don't know Mark. that I can do that one. Hold on. I don't even know that I can remember and, all the words. <laughs> and if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you subscribe, ring the bell, and all that kind of stuff. Ring you the know. bell. Ring the bells of heaven, there is joy today. Do you know that one? Didn't know that one, Mark. Sorry, that's that's got to be a Baptist. <laughs> that's a Baptist song. We, we didn't the sing bell. that in the Pentecostal church. Y'all didn't, no. ring the, Y'all didn't ever want to ring the bells of heaven? Uh, we, we had one of that. Yeah, royal telephone. I hear those joy bells ringing. Ring, ring, ring. I hear those joy bells ringing. Ring, ring, ring. I hear those joy bells ringing. Ring, ring. I don't remember that. that. No, that's Pentecostal. I didn't know that. And one. I'll fly away. Oh, we you all sang that. that. Lord, we all sang that. Yeah. One. All right, let's uh, hear something else. Well, I saw Scott and Melanie. I don't know if they're still on there, but oh yes, um, I'll do one. Incredible singer. Yeah, um, Melanie's incredible. But this song, mm-hmm. uh, I was uh, my dad and Scott Jones's dad, Frank Jones, were very good friends walked through the same illness and it really connected them and they were connected already but served on the board of Texas District and were big buddies and uh, I remember when uh, Scott's dad was walking through his last few days with with prostate cancer Scott would either text or he had called me and we'd talk about where his dad was at and, and his dad was such an amazing amazing man and i i was thinking i wish somehow that i could honor uh their dad he was an amazing man and while i was talking to scott the words to this song started coming and i would go back and forth and again mark you were in on this you remember i sent you the lyrics to this song oh yeah i remember i I even changed them after i sent them to you i had to sing it i i knew i had to sing it because i i uh when i was writing them i would call Scott and I would say does this sound like your dad and some of the things he said no my dad didn't do that so I had to change the words up a little and this was the result we put it on I think our fearless album two or three albums ago uh, so I'll try to do this one there's a lot of words Jesus help me I'll Lord help you. in your name what's the name of this one nothing to prove nothing to prove somebody's yeah this Taught me how to ride a bike Tie my shoes and fly a kite How to swim and how to fish To see a star and make a wish Said it's okay to make mistakes Just don't get stuck in yesterday Forgive, forget and move ahead Cause life is what you make of it now you're gone and all I have are memories I hold dear If I'm quiet I hear your voice still ringing in my ear Saying live with no excuses and love with no regrets Laugh a lot and leave this world with nothing left unsaid Make this world a better place And don't be afraid to cry And when it's finally time to say goodbye There's nothing to prove, nothing to lose, nothing to hide You said life cannot be measured by place you live, the car you drive, the thing that counts the day you die, is who you are and what's inside, so tell the truth, don't ever lie, integrity at any price, your words, your bond, your highest prize, 
So guard it close, shoot with your life. So many things I learned from you about life and love and play. But I learned more by how you lived than what I heard you say. You said live with no excuses and love with no regret. Laugh a lot and leave this life with nothing left unsaid. Make this world a better place. Don't be afraid to cry. And when it's finally time to say goodbye, there's nothing to prove, nothing to lose, nothing to hide. I only want to live my life half as well as you. So I live with no excuses and I love with no regrets. Laugh a lot and leave this life with nothing left unsaid. Make this world a better place, won't be afraid to hide. And when it's finally time to say, Thank you, Dan. Thanks, Mark, Dan, for Dan. Uh, recording that song. Too. Oh, thank you for writing it. I remember when I when I first heard it, I wrote the words down. I called Bill Gaither, because I always call him when I've heard a great song, and I quoted it to him over the phone. He said, you know, I could sing that. I said, no, you can't, because I'm singing it. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you wish he'd sung it. <laughs> hey, no, listen. I'm happy with you. Oh, oh thank Hope you. King. I hope King. Huh? Hope. Hope, King. Hope King. Hey, Hope King. I love you, Hope. <laughs> oh, she said it was beautiful. Thank you all, Paul Morgan, Ma Mary Barber, Angela Marie Wilcox, Karen Souder, Catherine Levitt, Josiah Gentry, Diane Ferris, all y'all tuning in. Thank you. And I will see you, uh, well, I guess I'll see you when I see you. Bye-bye. <laughs> love you, folks. We'll see you. Thank you.